What is up guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Today I want to take a look at a very interesting game, kind of a creepy game, and that game is The Binding of Isaac. So this game sort of follows, uh, kind of loosely follows a Bible story where God tells Isaac's mother to kill her son and just to see if if she fully trusts him and she I believe she attempts to and then God stops her and says you know good job obeying me I don't really need you to kill your son but it was kind of like a test um, and I believe that's where this idea for this game came from and they just said hey what if what if she just was like out to murder her child <laughs> and he, he had to <laughs> run from her and uh, it's, it's just a very, very creepy, bloody, weird game. But the gameplay is very, very good. Uh, it's like a shooter. You pull the right stick, left, right, up, and down to shoot your gun in those directions. Very, very similar to Kitten Squad. If you play Kitten Squad, you will see this is where they got their idea for um, their game at least as far as the game mechanics and how everything works. So, um, it's it's a really fun game. I, some of the stuff's a little creepy. I certainly wouldn't play this with your young children. I would say your kids, in my opinion, should be like at least 10 or 12 before they play this game, just, just because of the weird, creepy uh, visual aspect of it. But it is it, very fun and addicting and Every playthrough, the map changes, and there's all these different upgrades you can get. And so I really enjoy it. You can pick up like different kinds of hearts. Um, some of them are like regular hearts that are red. That's how you refill your heart, little heart bar. Um, but you can get like silver ones, and they do a, a, a little more effectively. They, they defend you a little bit more. Um, there's just all kinds of different items and, and different uh, types of attacks you can pick up as you play, but it's very cool because the gameplay itself never changes. You use the left stick to move, you use the right stick to shoot, and you just have to be very, very good at timing, and you get a little better every time you play, but you should fully expect to die several times it you know if not every couple of minutes i mean it's it's a very very hard game and uh i think that's kind of the fun of games like this is that you get better every time you do it and your hand-eye coordination goes up just a little bit more and, and you kind of memorize how the enemies move and um, another game that is kind of like that is rogue legacy and i really enjoy that game as well you just those games that you have to play and you have to die just to get a little bit better each time. It's very, very fun. It's very addicting. I really have a hard time putting this game down after I begin playing it. Actually, I want to give a shout out to my brother because he bought me this game. I only had two Switch games at the time and really no money to buy any extra games. And uh, he just said, hey, what game would you like for your Switch? And he bought it on Amazon and had it sent straight to me. So shout out to him. What a good dude. If you guys enjoy this game, let me know in the comments. Um, I personally really enjoyed it. And I'm curious if they'll make it another one or some sort of sequel to it. I know there's been a little bit added to it since it's original release but the version on the switch i believe is the full version of it it's got everything so um also i know there was like a special edition one that came with some extras in the case um, that's very cool but it's very hard to find so i went with the uh, standard edition um so yeah let me know if you like this game, if you'll be uh, picking this game up now that you've seen the gameplay and heard a little bit about it, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my game reviews. Um, we do them every Tuesday, Thursday. We do news every single Monday, Wednesday. We live stream every Friday night. 
Uh, normally we live stream Mario Maker 2, but going forward, starting tomorrow, we will be live streaming Link's Awakening, and I am so excited about it. Have an amazing day, guys.